people have a contentious relationship with insects. Though they serve a vital role in the ecosystem, bugs tend to be pests when they come into contact with humans. But some insects are much more than an inconvenience. A handful of bugs can inflict excruciating pain on humans that sometimes results in death. From Amazonian ants to disease-carrying flies, we are counting down the top 10 deadliest insects in the world. The bullet ant is the largest species of ant in the world. Found throughout Latin America, the bite from a bullet ant is supposed to be as painful as a gunshot wound, hence its name. The sting rates a 4 out of 4 on the Schmidt Sting Pain Index, a scale created by entomologist Justin O. Schmidt in the 1980s to categorize and rate the relative pain of different insect stings. Only two other insects, the tarantula hawk wasp and warrior wasp, have comparable stings to that of the bullet ant. However, the pain from the tarantula hawk sting lasts less than five minutes, and that from the warrior wasp extends to two hours. Bullet ant stings, on the other hand, produce waves of agony that last 12 to 24 hours. Its sting is described as both wild painful and excruciating in its length. Schmidt described the sting as feeling like huge waves and crescendos of burning pain. But generally speaking, the bullet ant's bite is non-lethal. It feeds on nectar and other insects. Though the bullet ant can technically kill a human, it would take more than 2,000 bites to kill the average sized male. Regardless, most humans don't stick around long enough to test this theory. The botfly may look harmless from a distance, but it actually takes part in a disgusting ritual that has terrorized humans for millennia. The botfly participates in a process called meiosis. This means that the parasitic creature burrows under the skin of humans to lay its eggs. As the larvae grow, they feed on the flesh of their human host. These flies can also live in the digestive tract of mammals, causing great distress to the host organism. Usually, the botfly lays more than 30 eggs at one time, meaning that the unfortunate humans who encounter them have a massive welt on their skin. While botfly flies are non-lethal, they are without a doubt one of the most disgusting parasites to plague human beings and other mammals. After the larvae are fully grown, they leave their host, but this can lead to open wounds and infection. Like bullet ants, these creatures are native to Latin America and have been known to come home with tourists from Europe, America, and Australia. In certain parts of Canada, Inuit populations actually eat these creatures, as they are considered a delicacy when found inside of a caribou. But for most people, there's nothing appetizing about these revolting insects. Fleas are a more commonly known pest, but they are no less insidious. We associate them with pets, but the truth is that fleas can live and feed on any warm-blooded animal. The world is host to over 2,000 species of flea, and they're a problem almost everywhere. Flea infestations can rapidly get out of control. That's because fleas lay eggs in such large numbers. At a rate of 40 to 50 per day for around 50 days, a single female flea can produce 2,000 eggs in her lifetime. Flea larvae burrow deep into fabrics, bedding, and carpeting, where they stay hidden until it's time to feed. Perhaps the scariest thing about these creatures is that they can lay dormant for a full year without a blood meal. That means that if any infected pet enters your home, you could be dealing with the consequences for a full year. Fleas are best known for spreading the bubonic plague. They also transmit the bacterial disease marine typhus to humans through infected rats. Their saliva is an allergen that can cause allergic reactions in pets and humans. Fleas can also transfer tapeworms and cause anemia in pets. Historians estimate that 200 million people have died from flea related diseases over the course of human history. Fire ants exist all over the world and go by many names in many different cultures. When people talk about fire ants, they're often referring to a non-native species, the red imported fire ant, Solenopsis invicta. The ant is native to South America. In the 1930s, red imported fire ants made their way to the U.S. from Argentina via the port of Mobile, Alabama. Red imported fire ants will defend their nests aggressively, emerging en masse and stinging the offending perpetrator. Fire ants are now established throughout the southeastern states. Isolated populations also exist in California and the southwest. Anyone unlucky enough to encounter these insects knows that their bites are excruciating. A typical fire ant colony produces large mounds in open areas and feeds mostly on young plants, seeds, and sometimes crickets. Fire ants often attack small animals and can kill them. Unlike many other ants, which bite and then spray acid on the wound, fire ants only bite to get a grip and then sting and inject a toxic alkaloid venom. For humans, this is a painful sting, which leaves a sensation similar to what one feels when they get burned by fire, hence the name fire ant. And the after effects of the sting can be deadly to sensitive individuals.
This is another parasitic insect that lives on the blood of mammals. They have the disgusting habit of sucking blood from their victim's face, hence the moniker kissing bug. Primarily a nocturnal pest, kissing bugs hide during the day and feed on the blood of mammals, including humans, birds, and reptiles, at night. Feeding typically requires 20 to 30 minutes, during which time they inject an anesthetizing agent in their saliva, similar to that of bed bugs, so the host is not aware they are being bitten by a kissing bug. But unlike bed bugs, kissing bugs can transmit blood-borne diseases, like Chagas disease. Because the kissing bug is present all throughout the Americas, more than 7 million people have been infected with Chagas disease. Early symptoms include fever, headache, enlarged lymph glands, pallor, muscle pain, difficulty in breathing, swelling, and abdominal or chest pain. After this, the parasite moves to the human heart and nervous system. They slowly feed on sensitive tissue, and if the disease goes untreated, it can result in death. These bugs used to be confined to Latin America, but they recently moved to North America and have been growing in the American South. Biologists worry that increasing global temperatures will not kill off the kissing bug population during the winter months, allowing them to spread farther north. The giant Japanese hornet is the largest species of hornet in the world. Their wingspan is two and a half inches, which might not sound enormous until you see the proportionately large abdomen and stinger. The stinger measures about a quarter inch, the largest of any living wasp, and these hornets are deadly. They kill at least 40 people every year and send many more to the hospital. The Japanese hornet can be extremely aggressive if provoked, and if stung, the venom will attack the nervous system and damage tissue of its victims. The insect made international headlines in 2013 when a swarm of them killed 42 people in rural southwestern China. Those lucky enough to survive the Asian giant hornet stings were left not only with wounds resembling bullet holes, but with kidney kidney damage, which in some cases will last a lifetime. The bad news is that in the future you probably won't have to travel to Asia to encounter the Japanese giant hornet. Many scientists believe that the spread of Japanese giant hornet stings over the years has been due to climate change, from regional droughts to rising temperatures across the board. Milder winters result in fewer of the creatures dying each year, and scarcity of water and other resources makes them even more hostile than they would usually be. A bite from a tsetse fly can infect you with a terrifying parasite that brings on a deep and possibly fatal sleep. Unlike a mosquito, the tsetse fly's mouth has tiny serrations on it that saw into your skin on its way to suck out your blood. There are very few treatments to deal with sleeping sickness. It is confined to Central and West Africa and can go undetected for months before serious symptoms emerge. Symptoms of sleeping sickness include fatigue, headaches, muscle aches, and a high fever. In time, the disease affects the central nervous system, resulting in sleep disorders, psychiatric disorders, seizures, coma, and eventually death. Fortunately, sleeping sickness in humans is on the decline, but because most of the victims live in remote areas, there is insufficient information on the disease. Experts estimate that anywhere from 50 to 500,000 people die every year from the disease, but don't expect the fly to be eradicated completely. Fossilized flies have been recovered from fossil beds in Colorado, laid down some 34 million years ago. 23 extant species of tsetse flies are known from Africa. All of these flies are related to the prehistoric ancestor, meaning that these flies are hardy enough to live through many millions of years. The killer bee is an example of advanced science gone wrong. They were created in a laboratory in Brazil by mixing European honeybees with African bees. They are also known as Africanized bees. Scientists wanted to create a bee that would produce more honey, but unfortunately they created less effective and highly aggressive species. After escaping from the laboratory, newly created bees began conquering beehives of Mexican and American honeybees. Killer bees have now moved as far north as Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, Texas, and California. The truth is the killer bees are similar in stature and composition to the standard European bee. Killer bees produce venom that is equally as strong as the venom produced by European bees. However, killer bees always attack in a group, which is why they are so dangerous. People attacked by killer bees suffer numerous stings and may experience fatal allergic reactions. These killers are aptly named. Though they were only developed relatively recently, killer bees are already responsible for more than 1,000 human fatalities. In all cases, victims received more than 10 times as many stings as a standard bee attack. Known by many names, driver ants or siafu are a species of giant ant native to Central and East Africa. Using their powerful cutting jaws, driver ants attack everything in their path, including snakes, birds, mammals, and even human beings. Their systematic search for prey involves climbing into trees and shrubs. What's more, these ants are highly systematic. They can form bridges to cross rivers and move as a single organism. And most terrifying, these insects are carnivores. 
Though they generally feast on earthworms, these creatures will consume anything that falls in their path. They have been known to eat human children who are left unattended for long periods of time. And like a piranha, they can skin a calf in less than an hour using their powerful pincers. Ultimately, they have such a large colony that their victims die of suffocation before they die of blood loss. And surprisingly, these creatures are intelligent. They coordinate attacks on termites and other ant colonies using tactical methods, like surrounding them or using the element of surprise. If you're unlucky enough to encounter a driver ant in the wild, stay out of their path. The deadliest insect in the world is also the deadliest organism of any kind. The common mosquito may seem harmless, but it's a natural-born killer. According to the World Health Organization, mosquito bites result in the deaths of more than 1 million people every year. The majority of these deaths are due to malaria. The World Health Organization estimates that between 300 and 500 million cases of malaria occur each year, and a child dies from malaria every 30 seconds. Human beings are the next deadliest species on Earth, accounting for less than half a million deaths a year, followed by snakes with only 50,000 deaths. That means that mosquitoes are deadlier than the other top 10 deadliest animals combined. Because they lay eggs in such vast quantities, the species is virtually impossible to eradicate. On top of this, they represent a vital food source to many birds, reptiles, and mammals. Several experiments have been conducted in which mosquitoes were chemically removed from an environment. In all cases, the mosquitoes returned, but local bird populations nearly went extinct due to starvation. That means mosquitoes will remain an insidious threat for many years to come.